So with the Washington Wizards winning their game against the Charlotte Hornets last night, it means that they are officially the 8th seed in the Eastern Conference, and that means in this year's play-in tournament, the Washington Wizards will be facing the Boston Celtics in the tournament. And this is a pretty big deal since it will decide which one of them makes the playoffs or not and what seeding they get. So in today's video, I'm discussing who I think will win this game and advance in the tournament. Before we get into the video, I ask you to drop a like on this video as it does help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want weekly NBA content and tell me to my goal of 1,000 subscribers and come on this video start a conversation with me as I do respond to all comments and play that intro. So basically how this is going to work is that the Wizards will face the Celtics and whoever wins this game gets the 7th seed and whoever loses this game will be forced to play either the Pacers or the Hornets and whoever wins between that game would get the 8th seed. And with it just being announced that the Boston Celtics will be without Jalen Brown for the rest of the season, I think this game is going to be way closer than you would think. Because even if Brown was there, I would still think it's somewhat close to who would have win. But in a one game series, literally anything can happen because both of these teams have explosive players who can go off. The Wizards obviously have a guy in Bradley Beal who is second in points per game this year and he can easily go off for 40 or even 50 points on any any given night and the Wizards also have Russell Westbrook who's a guy who will always put up a spectacular stat line and on Boston side they have Jason Tatum who's a guy who could go off for 30 or 40 points in the game and just take the game over I should also mention that Boston has the best player in Tatum in this matchup and that's always a huge advantage they also have Kemba Walker who has been really inconsistent this season but there is a chance that he could step up and have a big game these two rosters have been some of the more inconsistent rosters in the league because the Wizards started off absolutely horrible and now they're playing on fire like one of the best teams in the league and the Celtics have simply just been inconsistent literally the whole season. So selecting who will win this game is far from easy and an outside factor that definitely has to be considered is the fact that Bradley Beal is playing with a sore hamstring. And in the first half of the game versus the Hornets, it was really affecting him. And even in the second half, he wasn't his usual self, but he was a bit better, which is a promising side for a Wizards fan. But if Beal doesn't play like an all-star, it reduces the chance of the Wizards winning drastically because he's their second most important player and second most impactful player. They also rely on him to hit big shots. And if I had to guess, I wouldn't assume he's going to be magically healthy again. So that really worries me for their chances. The Wizards are a team that has been on a real hot streak as of late and Boston hasn't been good as of late as they're four and six in their last 10 games. So the Wizards are having a bunch of positive momentum where the Celtics and that's a thing that can decide who will win a game. Both of these teams aren't necessarily deep teams that have a bunch of guys off the bench who can produce. I'd actually say that's most of their weaknesses, so there's no advantage there. Boston overall in the season has been a significantly better offensive team and defensive team, but as I said, they will be missing their second best player in Jalen Brown, so I would have to assume that they would not be as good as projected. And you have to remember that a lot of Washington stats aren't as good as they probably are like right now because they started off the year so terribly. But to wrap it up, if I'm being honest for who I think is going to win the game, I'm honestly going to have to go with the Wizards because they proved me wrong time and time again. For example, in their game versus Charlotte, I didn't think they would make a comeback, but they did. And they have just been a team absolutely on fire, and Boston seems like a team with low energy the whole season. And now that their second best player in Jalen Brown is injured, it just seems sad in Boston. And I also have faith in Tatum to step up and have a big game, but I don't think he'll get enough support from the others. Because Kemba is known to always disappoint in times like these when the lights are brightest and the rest of the roster needs him and there's no one else on the roster that i see having a huge game maybe evan fournier but i'm not willing to bet on that 
Also, I trust Russell Westbrook in a game like this. Not necessarily to go out and score 40 points on crazy efficiency, but I know that he's just gonna try his hardest to win and he's gonna do anything to win. So I just put some faith in that. But if Bradley Beal's hamstring is worse than I think it is, I think Boston can easily take this game. But I'm just gonna give the slight edge to the Wizards. But if Boston was healthy, I definitely would have chose them to win. Anyways guys, that's it for the video. Let me know whether you disagree or agree with me. Drop a like on this video to help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want weekly NBA content and tell me it's my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And comment on this video to start a conversation with me as I do respond to all comments and play that intro.